Shalom and welcome to this installment in our series, Hebrew Numerology. And in this edition, we are going to focus in on the number four. But let me warn us and caution us that not every time a number appears in the Bible does the significance attached to that number is it relevant you see sometimes god uses a number simply because that was the historical fact meaning this happened two times or three times or five times or he uses the number because there were seven loaves of bread or three pieces of fish whatever it might be so not always does that significance that we're learning for the numbers are they a factor always in our interpretation but frequently they are so with that statement made let's explore the number four and the place that i would like us to begin is in the book of daniel chapter four now what we're going to see is this that the number four frequently in the scripture carries with it a context of the entire world we might say that the number four is a global number and this is exactly what we're going to learn in this passage so look with me to daniel chapter 8 and verse 8 let me give you the context we're dealing with a beast and a beast according to the prophets a beast is an empire and here we're looking at the second beast that's mentioned in Daniel chapter 8 in his vision and we're speaking about one that is called the goat and the goat is the empire of the Antichrist and notice what it says in verse 8 Daniel chapter 8 and verse 8 and the goat magnified itself unto exceedingly meaning simply it magnified itself in an exceedingly great manner and notice what it says and when it was strong notice that when it was very strong is the implication that its great horn was broken and went up four prominent ones in its place and notice what it says not just four prominent ones but it says to the four winds of the heavens now what is it referring to the four winds of the heaven well just like we see the number four in regard to the four corners of the earth it's not saying that the earth is flat that would be ridiculous but it's speaking about four directions we speak about north south east and west And what the scripture is saying is this when this empire is very strong that that prominent horn in the middle of the forehead is going to be broken off it's strong very strong but it's going to be broken off and four others are going to arise in its place now four is that global number it represents the earth in its entirety and what it's simply saying is that this empire when the time is right when it's strong it is going to exert its authority its power its rule over all the earth over the entire globe and that's why one should see and this is supported in the book of revelation as well that that antichrist empire is going to rule over all the earth it's going to be a one world government now notice something else turn if you would to the book of revelation revelation and chapter 7 we're going to see that same truth and that same significance for the number four being expressed here in this passage as well so the book of revelation and chapter 7 where it says and afterwards meaning after these things that we've just spoken of in the seals it says afterwards i looked and four angels 
this can mean messengers those who were given with an assignment from god these four messengers were standing and notice where they were standing in the four corners of the earth so four messengers they have significance for all the earth and they're standing in the four corners of the earth meaning towards the north towards the south towards the east and towards the west and they were holding on to meaning exerting authority over the four they were exerting authority over the four winds of the earth notice how the term of the earth appears over and over they were exerting authority over the four winds of the earth in order that the wind should not blow upon the earth or upon the sea or upon any tree now what's happening here these four angels have the wrath of god to be poured out over the entire earth in its totality but before that happens there is something that must be done and we look now to verse 2 and it says i saw another angel or a messenger coming up from the east meeting from the rising of the sun and its authority it had authority in regard to the seal of the living god and it was called out in a loud voice to the four angels that that were given to and them to harm what the entire earth and the sea so they were being told not to harm anything until a few things took place and again when we look at this we see that the number four is repeating and the context is clear it has to do with the entire world the wrath of god that was prophesied and proclaimed in chapter six is being detained that wrath is not going to fall upon all the earth in its entirety until god seals that hundred and forty four thousand with the seal of the living god and also there's another thing that has to happen and that would be the rapture also alluded to in revelation chapter 7 and it's only after the servants of god are sealed and the believers are removed from this world then and only then can the wrath of god fall upon the earth in its totality meaning that the earth and the sea and the trees would all be harmed so again we see how the number four relates to the world and how it's a global number let me give you one more example i just like to talk our way through that and we know that there is the altar and the bible says that the altar has four horns why four horns well four relates to the world to the entire earth and what we find is this that altar that related to the tabernacle and then to the temple same altar it had four horns why because this was the only place once jerusalem was established once the tabernacle was set up and it was placed in either shiloh at the beginning and then the utensils were were moved to jerusalem once that happened with the establishment of the temple there was only one place in all the world to sacrifice one place that was uniquely set apart for worship and it was jerusalem and that's why the temple mount is in jerusalem the place of worship and the altar of god is the only place this altar that has the four horns so my encouragement to you is as we learn the significance of these numbers when you come across them in the bible give strong consideration to whether in that passage that significance of whatever number we're we're dealing with if that significance is relevant if it adds to one's understanding and assists in arriving at the proper interpretation again 
does that significant of that significance for a particular number is it always relevant in that passage not always but frequently it is and it does us ourselves well to know that significance so when we come across numbers we remember that significant attached for that number in order to aid our understanding and to give us guidance in a proper interpretation well i'll close this installment with that until next time and we turn our attention to the number five until then may god bless you as you study his word shalom from israel Thank you.